So today I'm in the car, and I turn on the radio, and I come into the middle of an infomercial, and this is what I hear. And one day I got out of the shower, and my daughter said, Mommy, why is it so wrinkly? And I knew I had to do something. So I called Dr. Smith for the mommy makeover. Dr. Smith is one of the leading plastic surgeons in North America. That summer I went to the beach with my daughter, and one of the 19-year-old lifeguards was looking at me. I took it as a compliment. What was wrinkly? I'm confused. Project. 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 My size. My size. My size. My size. So I know that there are a lot of girls and guys that tried out for the channel and didn't make it and really are excited about the idea behind Project Life Size. And we've been very blessed, honestly. Um, we have sister channels that are just starting up everywhere. Our first sister channel was Real Tubes, and they have a full lineup of girls, and they're amazing. But for those of you who wanted to try out for Project Life Size and didn't get a chance to, definitely check out these sister channels because they are going to be awesome, and I'm really excited. The first one we have is called Big is Beautiful. Big is Beauty, Big is Beauty Project, that's one. Um, and, ah, Margo, stop it. Um, and there's actually a casting call video. It says, attention men and women of all ages. Are you plus sized? Are you tired of the media portraying size unrealistically? Do you want to be the change in the world? Do you know the meaning of real beauty? Let's show them. Inspired by Project Life Size, this is big as beautiful. Watch the video in, and enjoy. I will be choosing three men and three women to join the team. So definitely check that out. Now we just got one that's called Life Embracing, which will focus on eating disorders, um, and it was created by Astaria, Asteria, I can't speak, I'm from Michigan, from Real Tubes. And uh, she's holding auditions that are starting now and ending on January 20th. So I will link all these in the sidebar, wherever that sidebar may be. Um, and I know that there are some girls, even within Project Life Size, that actually want to audition or help out. So, um, yeah, join the change, man. Join it. It feels good. So I get this magazine. It says, Lane Bryan presents Figgies, Gifts, and Good Taste. So basically, they're in cahoots. Use your Lynn Bryan credit card, right? It's all screwed up because it's in my car. Then you open it up, and these are the kind of things they're selling. Do you see this? Do you see the heart attack in a box they're trying to sell to Lane Bryan customers? I mean, maybe they assume that they're reaching a good market because they're like, oh, big girls, they love to eat. Here's some food. How many other clothing stores do you go to that send out food catalogs with candy and chocolate and popcorn and a fucking box. A Project for Awesome video went over really well. I was really excited with it. Um, I hope that everyone watched it. I hope everyone liked it. I liked the video a lot. Um, Girls Inc. actually contacted me on Facebook and they were excited and they put it on their Facebook page. And also here's the part where I forgot to thank Mr. M. Sir for filling in on Friday. Uh, you're amazing. And I'm pretty sure every girl that watches this channel's heart just skipped a beat when they woke up next to Mr. M. Sir. They're all like, why is there a boy? Oh, 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 it's Adam. Oh, he doesn't have a shirt on. Oh, he's got a tattoo. And they probably thought some very dirty thoughts. Just putting it out there. So we have a topic for this week. Our topic is Lucy's topic. If you could meet any 10 people in the world, alive or dead, who would you choose? This is not going to be a list where I'm like, I want to meet Jesus. I want to meet Gandhi. I want to meet Plato. No. These are any people that I want to meet so I can like go to dinner and then jam with them. Margo, that's creepy. You can't come up behind people when they're trying to vlog. You gonna stand here? You gonna stand here? You want me in the video? You wanna say hi? Apparently not. Number one, and this is in no order of which one I wanna meet more and which one I wanna meet less. Chris and Danya. He's my buddy on the YouTubes, but we haven't actually met in the real life. And um, we talk on the phone. And I enjoy him. And I know that we're going to be meeting in real life at some point possibly putting out a box set, possibly doing a tour. His music is going to be what people make babies to. And my music is going to be uh, what the girl listens to when the guy leaves her with the baby. <laughs> Tori Amos. I have a soul connection with Tori Amos. I love her book. I actually, I've been rereading it again. And I love it. I just love the way that she looks at the world. I love the way that she looks at music and where music comes from and how people are inspired. and how people can get really wrapped up into thinking that they are the source, they are the one that comes up with everything, but in reality, you just are able to access and tap into something that's bigger than you. Uh, Jason Mraz. I have a mini crush on Jason Mraz because, first of all, he's a guy that plays guitar, so automatically gains 10 hot points. But he just, he's a genius. I love his voice, I love his lyrics. He would be fun to jam with, just hang out and come up with songs with. Oh, and make YouTube videos with? Yes. Sarah McLachlan. 
there are going to be some musicians in this list. Sarah McLachlan, I was listening to her when I was, um, like, eight years old, nine years old or something, uh, when people were listening to Backstreet Boys and NSYNC, which I was still listening to Backstreet Boys and NSYNC, but I was listening to Sarah McLachlan at night, Mirrorball, hell yes. Sharon Olds, she's a poet, and uh, I really, I'm not into poetry usually. Her poems just speak to me on a whole other level. Um, I actually have some quotes from her poems on my Facebook. I think I did not want to be born. Slowly I was pulled away, but I would not let go. Perhaps they had to knock me off with a stick, like someone clinging to a live downed wire. I came away with the skin of the other world in my palms. Lisa Williams, yes, she's a medium, and a medium clairvoyant, psychic, whatever. Um, and she has a TV show that I watch in times. She's really cool too. Who's next, who's next, who's next? I feel like I'm hyped up on the juice. Okay, this is a person, so I know that this list is people that we want to meet, and I assume that's for the first time. This is someone that I've met, but I want to meet again, because I feel like the first time didn't do it justice, and that's Michelle, anything sarcastic. Um, I feel like we were soulmates in another life, and I don't understand why at 888 we did not hang out. I was like, I was so consumed with everything that was going on, and I think I was so excited about the fact that I was hanging out with the five awesome gays, that I couldn't even, I couldn't even focus on anyone else. But Michelle, I adore you, and I want to meet you again, and we are going to meet again, and I'm going to New York, damn it. Something's gonna happen. This dog, why won't you shut up? Why won't you shut up? Okay, next person, Jesus. I know I said I wouldn't say Jesus. I would like to meet Jesus simply for the fact that I, hey, I would like to meet Jesus simply for the fact that I would wanna know, hey, Jesus, um, so what did you actually say? What actually went down? What do you actually think? I would just be interested in hearing the story from a first person perspective instead of, you know, people that didn't know Jesus and like 40 years later. Just an idea. Alright, and the last person that I would like to meet is Crystal so I could punch her in the face. Peace out!